How you doing, sir? Good, good, It's an man. amazing game or what? Absolutely. This Your is family awesome. is awesome. They're having the time of their lives, man. It, this couldn't be more perfect. Are you ready to see them? Absolutely. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. <laughs> all right, brother. It's almost time. Next time I see you, we'll be on the field, all right? Sweet. Have a good game. <laughs> I'm waiting to go out on the field. My stomach was all over the place. My nerves were spiking. The anticipation was just completely overwhelming. Ladies and gentlemen, the Raider Nation proudly honors all of our veterans and the brave men and women who are deployed across the globe. At this time, we proudly salute Sergeant First Class Michael Eaton. It meant the world to me to see him. I was so proud of my dad at that moment, more than I can say. Sergeant Eaton is currently serving our country overseas in Afghanistan. It wrenched at my heart a little bit. I, my knees started to shake because I felt really emotional because I really missed my dad a lot. Joining us in the stands today are Sergeant Eaton's wife and kids. Let's give them all a big round of applause. I just wanted to sprint to where they were. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field, Matt Rogers, and a very special field goal challenge with the family of Sergeant First Class, Michael Eaton. I was just nervous, just hoping that I would make it without losing it. <laughs> Thank you, Raider Nation! With me right now is the Eaton family. Unfortunately, one member of their family is not standing up here with them today, and that's their dad, Michael. He's been gone for the past 10 months defending our freedom. Here I am in front of a packed house at the Coliseum, and this was for me and my kids. It was just an incredibly powerful moment. This big dog right here is McKenzie. They call him Big Mac. So here you go, brother. Give it a shot. I just wanted the ball to get over the crossbar. That's all I wanted. I just wanted that to happen just so I could be like, yes, I kicked the field goal for my dad in our NFL game, especially at the Raiders Coliseum. All right, Big Mac, on you, brother. And the whole stadium started roaring for me. The only thing that ran through my head is I wish my dad was here. The adrenaline was pumping. I was ready to get to my kids. I want to tell everyone a little something about this family. They really love and miss their dad. And they really hate the fact that he's been so far away. Well, kids, he's a lot closer than you think. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming home in a surprise return from Afghanistan. Our holder and these kids dad, Sergeant First Class, Michael Eaton. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best moment of my life when I saw him. I was feeling like a little kid who had just woken up on Christmas morning, but the big old box under the tree was mine. This is definitely something I remember forever. <laughs> Our hero is finally gone. It's just all us again. It was priceless. It was a moment that you don't forget. We miss you so much, Dad. <laughs> For the last 10 months, I've been a missing puzzle piece. And in that moment, I was complete. To create that memory for my kids as a whole was just, can't put a price tag on it. Sergeant First Class Michael Eaton, on behalf of your beautiful family and a very grateful Raider Nation, welcome home, sir. Cheerleaders of Montgomery Central High have whipped this pep rally into a frenzy. 
but that's nothing compared to the insanity that'll be unleashed when we surprise Brandon and Kira's mom with this guy. It's like this surprise was meant for my mom because as a family, being away from our dad is hard, but my mom is missing one half of who she is when my dad is gone. I told my mom that it was gonna be like a school sports thing and we were gonna be honoring the cheerleaders. And then I had gone to state, I was like the only girl wrestler and I knew that she would come, it wouldn't be hard to get her there. Everyone in that gym was in on the secret except for my mom and that was kind of exciting. So I want you to give it up for your three time national championship cheerleader. You could hear it all happening. The cheerleaders are going, and the excitement level is going up. It was really nerve-wracking. I mean, it's like you're at a college football game, and everyone's out there screaming, getting ready for this huge event, and it turns out to be for us. Next up, we've got some help. A friend of Montgomery Central who's going to recognize our next athlete. Come on out, Mr. Matt Rogers. She introduced Matt, and I thought, well, that's the same guy that's doing that show on the Army Wives, but I didn't really think about it. Thank you very much, ma'am. I'm an ex-athlete myself, so it is with pride that I'm here to honor such an awesome school with such great athletes. I was quite shocked to learn that your second place state championship winner was a female. That's really cool. With a 15 and two record, taking second place in state, I want to welcome up, please, Kira Baker. Come on up here. Congratulations, there you go. My heart was beating out of my chest and I was really nervous. Hi, my name is Kira Baker and I'm the only female wrestler here at MCHS. The success of my wrestling career has a lot to do with great coaches. I can hear her voice and she's giving her speech. I start to wonder. Am I gonna be able to go out there? Because it's so exciting and I'm, um, I'm really getting hyped up to see it and to see my wife finally. My success is also contributed to by the support I get from my school, my friends, and especially my family. Yeah. Stay up here with me for a second. You said, uh, especially your family, is your family here? Um, yes, my brother and my mom. Your brother and your mom, can you guys come up here real quick? Let's recognize Kira's family. I got the chance to meet her mom, Angela, her brother, Brandon. But uh, mom, how proud are you of your daughter today? Extremely proud. So what's the one thing that's missing from your daughter's big day? Her father. <laughs> her father's missing. Where's your husband right now? In Afghanistan. Her husband's in Afghanistan. And how long has he been deployed for? A year. Over a year. Well. I've never been around a school with so much spirit, and they say uh, sometimes spirit brings miracles. So students, please join me in welcoming home, home early from Afghanistan, Angela's husband and Brandon and Kira's dad, Sergeant First Class David Baker. Okay. <laughs> it was just the best feeling in the world. The reaction was amazing. My dad cried and my mom cried. Everyone was in tears. It was really sweet and everything. That moment, it worked out beautifully. They hugged each other and it felt like we're a family again and this is how it's supposed to be. I feel like the luckiest person. Sir, on behalf of over 900 crazy students, a wonderful family, and a very, very happy wife, and a grateful nation, welcome home, sir. My name is Matt Rogers. For those of you who don't know, here's what's gonna happen. There are seven adorable children backstage and they're gonna be performing a very special number. They think I'm going to be recording it on this flip camera and actually sending it to their dad when actuality, their father is gonna be hiding right back there the entire time. He's been off serving our country for the past six months. 
So when they're done, I'm going to introduce their father and get your napkins handy because when he runs down here and hugs them, I hope that this place erupts and shows pride for this country and the service that Major Salvador has done for us. Thank you very much. Showtime. Are we ready? Yes. All right, let's hit it. We gotta go side stage. I'll take Michael. Come here, Bubba. Right, grab that stuff. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to hula. Please welcome to the stage the Salvador family. All those little things are going in my mind. I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna run up there and then uh I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm just gonna say, hey guys, I'm home. Watching them up there, it was just like a dream. It was better than a dream. It was better than anything I had anticipated. To see the lights and the people and the kids and everybody in costume, the moment was, it was big and it was definitely a proud mommy moment. <laughs> did an unbelievable job. That was really, really good. You guys rocked it tonight. Their dad's been gone for six months. Savannah's the oldest. Savannah, let me ask you, what do you love most about your dad? He's always right there to help me whenever I need him. And he takes us out to do a lot of fun things when he's here. Nice. This beautiful little girl right here, this is Marina. Marina, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you love your dad? 15. 15? <laughs> This is Riz Jr. right here. Riz, what do you miss most about your dad? I miss most about my dad that we can't spend as much time as we did uh, when he was here, and we can't do as many fun things that when, um, when he is not here. It's those special moments, sharing life with them. That's what I'm missing. I know you guys wish your dad could have been here to watch you perform, but we will send this to him. But uh, in fact, I'm gonna change my mind. I actually don't need to send this to your dad. What? It's like, what? It's like, why are you going to send this to my dad? <laughs> he saw the whole thing. He really did? He did. Savannah, look right back there, sweetie. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming home. Just in time to surprise his kids after serving our country for six months, Major Riz Salvador. They're just kissing on them, and that's the excitement. That's the pure, unvarnished joy. Are you crying? Are you crying? I felt really happy that he's home. It just makes me cry. Did I surprise you? Did we surprise you? I saw Savannah's face, and I didn't think I was going to cry. And then when I saw her face, I did, because every emotion just laid out. and. <laughs> It was great. I love you. <laughs> Miss you so much, Daddy. Bring the girls up on stage with the pastor to meet the church, meet the kids, and then when the time is right, come right down the aisle and reunite with your girls in front of a couple thousand people. Can you do that? I think so. <laughs> See you soon. While Haywood sweats it out, the churchgoers are gathering, and I've got two pretty little girls to say hello to. What's up, girls? <laughs> How you doing? That is a nice Sunday morning welcome. How you doing? Good. Good? Can I sit with you guys in church today? Yes, sir. Yes? yes? All right, come on, I'll follow you. Go ahead. All right, let's rock. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Good. They had no idea. I mean, they had absolutely no idea that their daddy was coming home. <laughs> Wait. 
This is perfect. The congregation's rocking, mom and the girls are taking their seats, and dad's already starting to lose it. They actually walked in and sat down. That's when it really got hard to, because I, I finally got to see them in person for the first time. Super build up, super anticipation. Just couldn't wait for everything to happen. And uh, speaking of prayer, there's a family that I just feel led to pray for today, uh, Sharita and, uh, and the two daughters to come up. Yep, the girls are sure gonna be surprised, but remember, even Sharita hasn't seen Haywood yet. I was just really excited to see him. This is a long time coming, I think. A really long time coming. Uh, I know you guys miss daddy so much, huh? Yes, sir. My dad has been gone for nine months, and I really missed him. Well, we're going to pray for Dad. Is that OK? Yes, sir. Okay, let's pray. Come on. Uh, really, like everybody was clueless. Despite the fact there's a guy in uniform just sitting there, they were all really were clueless. You miss your dad? Yes. Yes, sir. How much do you miss your daddy? 100%. 100%? How much do you miss your dad? Seven. A seven? She misses him a seven. Hayden, how much do you wish your dad was here? All the time. All the time? Well, this is no miracle, just a little modern technology. Look at that TV right there. Let's see if we can pull up daddy. There he is. Now I'm looking because I knew he was in the church, but I didn't know exactly where he was. God bless you, Haywood. Can you wave to us, Haywood? I thought he was in Afghanistan. Hayden, he doesn't look like he's in Afghanistan, does he? No, sir. I didn't think so. The spirit of the Lord's in this place, and so is one of our soldiers. Haywood, would you stand up, please? I started to walk down, and the tears just falling at that point. He's been gone for over nine and a half months, serving our country in Afghanistan. Everybody in the congregation is praising God and kind of going wild, and it was just really, really beautiful. Welcome home, Captain Haywood McMillan. We just hugged for what seemed like forever. Being able to just hug all of them at one time was, that was good stuff. Seeing my wife and yeah, my daughters was great. Getting that hug from them, being able to touch them, hold them, that, that really means a, a lot. It made me feel very happy because I missed them a lot. I was so happy, so, so happy. For the girls to have that kind of a surprise, I know that that will be with them forever. Welcome home, Captain. Just say something. I know you want to say something. I know it. Most importantly, I think we all know that God is good. God is good. Past nine and a half months, I've definitely grown in Christ. I think we've grown in Christ together as we pray for each other. I'm just blessed, privileged, highly favored to be able to do this, to be able to see my little girls. Decision day is here. Before the ceremony starts, Jerry and Tawana sneak in to go over the plan with the school's head football coach. You're gonna hide in this room on the side here. And there's gonna okay. be nothing to do oh, in here, but this is gonna be your spot. I figure right. you can no, handle that after being, cool. after being overseas. Cool. Being in there, no problem, probably no not problem, a big deal. no problem at all. Now here come JJ and his fellow football stars. Feast your eyes, folks. You're looking at the future of college football. This is crazy right now. Oh my gosh. I might get choked up during this whole thing, man. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something else. I'd like to welcome you all here today. We're gonna start on the end with Keith Reed. Next is Jeremiah Rutledge. 
an all-city football player. He's an all-region football player. He's a member of the East-West All-Star Game and a starter at cornerback. When it came to deciding where I wanted to go to college, uh, I guess it all came down to my future, and um, which university would set me up for success the best in the end. And that's why I chose to attend the United States Naval Academy. That's my boy! I'm so proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you, son. The shock in his face, it told me everything. He still needs you. You matter to him. I'm proud of you, son. And I love you, bro. bro. I told him I missed him a lot. And uh, he was like, I know, buddy. He was like, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. But the hug itself said a lot more than what we said. National Signing Day was one of the, the best days of my life. I was just beside myself with joy that morning to come out and to have my son signing with the United States Naval Academy. I, the, the, the words can't even express how, I, I think proud doesn't even do, do it justice. I definitely like to thank my parents for keeping me on the right track. I'd like to thank Coach Shelby and the rest of his coaching staff. Y'all made a dream come true for me. Uh, I'm so thankful for y'all, because I won't let y'all down to the next level, I promise. I promise with all my heart, I'm not going to let y'all down. Now I get to introduce my seniors. I thoroughly enjoy every moment that I've had with you. First senior, number 14, Brandon Readers. Number eight, Ian Ace. When we were getting introduced, I was like thinking in my head, man, I wish my dad was here. And last, but certainly not least, number 33, Josh McFarland. Mission complete, I'm back home. And I actually got to catch one of his games, so I think it was just a perfect scenario. Josh, tonight, special night, man. Senior night play with all your, your buddies one last time. But one thing tonight is you're missing Mr. McFarland. And he said that he was gonna be here for your senior game. Well, he's a man of his word. Come on out, Dad. Let's welcome home Captain Chris McFarland. When my dad came, I didn't even hear anybody cheer or nothing. I was just focused on him. Boy, how you doing? How you? He was there, and I was like, oh my God. I tried, tried as hard as I could not to cry. I love you guys. I missed you. I'm proud of you. Josh actually cracked some tears, and that is hard to do with Josh. And for him to tell me, hey, I love you, welcome home, it definitely tugged on some heartstrings. You did good while it was gone, man. You did good. Check this out. I'm going to put you right here, OK? Step up on right. those boxes. And if you look, there's a hole right there where you can see through. Okay. And you can watch your girls the entire time until I give you the cue come out and surprise your babies. Sounds good. All right, sir, see you out there. Man, I can't wait till the twins see what we've got in store. Yep, this is gonna be one heck of a birthday roundup. All right, everybody gather around, please. Gather around, it's present time. <laughs> Best part of the night, present! You guys have great friends or what? Yeah. We got all excited. We couldn't wait to open the presents. I want you to open mine first. This is definitely not my present. <laughs> this is too girly to be my present. This is too pink to be my present. You said, no, this one's too tall. This one's too colorful. This one's too small. This one's too girly. <laughs> I can't see my present over there. Have anyone seen my present? Seriously, it has green yeah. wrapping paper. It's it? big. That was like, where's our present? Where's our present? <laughs> Does anyone know where my, I know where I left my present. Do you guys want, do you know where I left my present? Where? I left my present back there. I knew something was about to happen and the girls had no clue. You want to see your present? Yeah! Bring out my present.
all I seen was the back of three little girls. And I knew from that moment on, he is not going to be able to go anywhere without them on him. We can't believe our eyes. I love you. I love you. Dad was supposed to be in Afghanistan. That moment to finally see them reunite was like the best moment ever. <laughs> 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 They're giving kisses, I'm kissing them. Uh, Keely, she's crying, she doesn't want to let go of me. You know, even though I try to stand up so I can kiss their mother, they're still, all three of them are holding me down, and they don't want me to get up. <laughs> you have a hat on your head. You have a hat on my head? <laughs> Actually holding them is the best feeling in the world. It was real emotional. It was one of those things that we didn't want it to end. It was just so magical. Yeah! Are you excited? Are you so excited? Yeah. Oh, you're crying. Keely has always been a daddy's girl. The first thing she asked him was, are you home for good? How long are you staying? And he's like, no, baby, I'm home for a long time. There's been many times through the deployment where I thought that he might not come home. And when he's home and he's holding the girls, to know that it's over and that it's not going to happen because he's home and he's safe, a huge weight lifted off my shoulders. And we can just enjoy each other. I cried and I heard him and kissed him and I couldn't believe my eyes he was home. Being reunited with them was everything and more. Very nice to meet you. I have several properties to show you, lots to choose from here. We're gonna go check out the first one, so if you'll just follow me, we'll, we'll get going. I don't think my wife has any idea what's going on right now. She still thinks I'm in Iraq, and she's gonna hate me for saying this, but she's kind of gullible. This is really Number nice. Two. I love the carpet. As I walk through all the apartments, I totally just picture me and Eddie in it with the furniture, just sitting on the couch, watching TV, at the dinner table, eating dinner. It's all about just being together. Another real big room. You could still get your queen size bed in here. Yeah, that'd be perfect, Kelly. Queen size bed. Amanda, she really was interested in looking at all the features they had. And she was totally oblivious to any idea that Eddie would be coming home. Okay, well then we're on the right track. We'll have one more to show you. Okay, so we'll go take a look at that one and then you can decide which one you like best of all, okay? Okay, I think you're gonna like this one. Okay, ladies. Okay, here's your third one. See, now, nice, big, the biggest living space. Okay? Yes, it is. OK, so now you've seen the three for the day. Which one do you like the best? I really like this one the best. And I could hear her voice through that door. I just wanted to go and hug her as soon as I could. Could you imagine him, like, you know, coming here, coming home when he gets done, and just, you know, maybe, like, walking through the door and going, hi, honey, I'm home. Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing Eddie again and just being able to hold him just feels great. Oh, I miss you. It has happy tears coming out, tears of joy. Just so excited to have him home. I was so proud of her. I got swept up in the demo. I completely forgot. Oh, that's right, we're here for something else. Caitlin, you did a great job. I think what you demonstrated here was a, a good enough demonstration for like a second degree black belt. Thank you, sir. We were waiting for a special person, right? Who were we waiting for again? My dad. Your dad? And where, where's your dad right now? Um, he's on the ship. I'm not sure where. I'd like to present you with something, OK? I want you to come and look right over there. Everyone, please uh, join me in welcoming home Senior Chief Petty Officer Joseph Mulder. I was thinking 
Oh my gosh, he's home. He's home for this. I'm so glad he's okay.